Hey, what's up? We're doing another You're Bad at Tinder. This is the series where we look at really bad Tinder profiles. But you know that. So let's just get right into it. First, we'll start with Laura, 21. People call me Dumbledore because I'm the headmaster. Now, I get what you're trying to do with that, Laura. You're trying to drop some subtle hints and act all sexy, but... You just got me picturing Dumbledore giving a BJ. Don't get me wrong. You give me enough beer and I'll take that beard for a ride. Lexi, 19. Okay, I feel like she's dropping some hints here, all right? What are you trying to say? You're making all the men looking at this feel very inadequate. Well, most of the men. I mean, if your schlong is that big, you, you got some fucking problems. Shannon, 33. Wait, Shannon? Can Shannon be a guy's name? Whatever. Hit me up if you don't want to sit on my face. Don't like me smiley face. That's not how you play pool I don't know about you, but I never rub my genitals on the felt when I play pool This one looks like an old one bill 33. I like curvy girls. I have a dog. Her name is precious She's my world my hobbies include midnight strolls collecting insects kind of nerdy But it's what I'm into making my own clothing and dancing when nobody's looking dry skin is a deal breaker I love bath and body works for the sole reason that their lotion comes in the basket. I date me <laughs> hmm. oh, Buffalo Bill moth 27. Damn, girl. Big titty moth GF. Y'all got any of those fucking lamps? Damn. Never seen a moth with curves like that. Fiona, quit hoeing around and come back. The kids miss you. If you were Fiona and you just magically transformed into an ogre, don't you think you'd be going out trying to get some of that ogre dong too? There's a whole world of ogre dong that just opened up to her. You gotta let her experiment a little bit and then she'll come back. Ashley, 32. Probably cooler than you. Don't want to be a dog mom. If you're making out with your dog in your pics, just swipe left. You never go out to mouth and you sick fuckers do it with your dogs and don't bat an eye. She makes a really good point actually. Not interesting in traveling to pound town. To sum up my dating experience as an adult, I went out with a guy who years later was arrested for murder. I'm also a Browns fan so my bad life choices extend past dating. 5'9", it'd be rad if you were at least that tall too. Well at least the guy you dated didn't go to jail for murdering you. So that's at least a plus. Most people ask boring questions like, what's up and how are you? I'm different. I'll ask interesting questions like, what street did you grow up on? What's your mother's maiden name? And what was the name of your first pet? So basically she wants to steal your identity. She wants to break into your bank account. I follow traditional gender rules, not a liberal, vegetarian. Most women are whores. Why are you different? This guy is a piece of shit. How do you put in your profile, most women are whores? Like that's gonna land you your dream date. So I know the best thing you can do when you approach a woman is, first thing, call her a whore. Women like that. Kaylee, 18. My initials are KKK. What's cool about you? Oh, Kaylee. A born racist. I get it. Well, she might not be racist. As a parent, you need to think about what your kid's initials are gonna be also. Either her parents are racist or they just did not see that coming. All right, let's see what this 40-year-old man has to say. I'm looking to fuck pussy and eat pussy and put this big hot and pussy mouth wherever she wants it. And it's 20 bucks a night with me. 20 bucks a night for this creepy ass old man? Come on. Who the fuck is gonna pay you 20 bucks? Is he doing duck lips too? You guys wanna pay 20 bucks to go out with this creepy old man doing duck lips? Come on. So thanks for watching this You're Bad at Tinder video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel. If you want to help me on the next level, you can check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash fluffy talks. I got lots of fun stuff going on over there. Patreon is honestly the only reason I can still do YouTube again. It is the best way to support me, and I appreciate every single one of you guys. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next video.